Okay, in this video series, we're going to build a loan calculator using some JavaScript. I have a finished product right here. Just want to go over it, and if you like what you see, then finish watching the videos so you can make your own. Otherwise, you know, move on, and you can try to find another one online. So here's a demonstration of how this one works. Uh, you're going to put in the loan amount. So let's say $180,000. Now I'm going to have it for a number of months only because you know, if you're working with mortgages, yeah, you're probably doing it in years, but then if you're doing different types of loans, maybe you're doing 80 months or 60 months or something like that. So I'm going to put it in terms of months, which 30 years is 360 months. Uh, interest rate, let's say 5%, eh, 6%. Uh, an extra monthly payment, this is if you want to make a little bit more per month. I'll show you what happens with that. Then you calculate. Now over in this part, it will tell you all the information. You know, the loan amount, how long, the interest rate, your monthly payment, which is the, the whole point of this calculator. But then down here is a table, the amortization table. And it, ex it pretty much lays out how much goes towards principal in each payment, how much will go towards interest. And it'll tell you what your current balance is at, a, at any point. So like say after 15 years, that's 180 months, you still owe $127,000. And then down here at the 360th payment, which is your last payment, you will have $0. Or your, your balance will be 0. All right, so that's how it works. Let's just see what happens if you make an extra $200 per month. So if you calculate... I haven't pressed it yet, but it's going to go. It's going to be less than 360 payments now because you're making more per month, and it looks like we actually will pay this off in 244 months. So in this example, if we uh, pay $200 more per month, we're going to save a, well a lot of money. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, so what we're going to do is just set up the the template, the HTML template, and then maybe a little bit of the CSS. Notice that I have I have four groups here. Actually, it's going to be five groups. So I have I'm going to have five five areas. I'm going to have the title. I'm going to have what I'm going to call the source info. Then uh, no, this will be I'm sorry. This will be the loan source. This will be the loan info. And then this I'm going to have is a a permanent fixed header. So notice that whenever you move the table, this doesn't move. So it's going to get its own div. So I'm going to call this just the header, and then this one will be the table. Okay, so I have a couple parts i got to make, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I've opened up three files. I have a, a loan.php. You can do this in .html. I just always make mine with PHPs. Then we're going to have the CSS file called loan.css, and then we'll have the JavaScript file loan.js. All right, so let's start with the template, the overall uh, outline of what this calculator is going to look like. Um, so let me just let me do some of the basics right here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all of our impor important tags here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link our CSS file right now because I know I'm going to have to at some point, so I might as well do that now before I forget. Uh, let's see. Okay. And then we'll do the, you know, let's just do the JavaScript now one as well. So we got script type. Uh, all right, so my source file I called loan.js. I think that's it. Okay. So we have those two. All right, so let's work on our template. So I had... Let's pull this up real fast. I have my outside container. Okay, I have a background which we'll deal with later. All all of the um, other CSS little things I'll do at the end, uh, maybe on the last video. But right now I got okay the the outside container. Then I have a title, and then I have uh, the loan source, the loan info, and then the table, and the header. So let's go ahead and do all that. So we have the container. So container. All right, and then inside this container, we're going to have the title. So let's just call this 
what did I call it? Installment loan installment calculator. All right, and then I had my loan source div. All right, next I had the loan info div. Ah, okay. All right, after that we had the amortization table header. So I'm just going to call this, uh, let's move down, table header. And let me close that off. And then finally we have the table itself. Okay, so that is the outline. So let me, so we got our title here. Source in, this is where um, the loan form is going to be. So the loan form would be here. This is where all the loan info is going to be displayed. So loan info will be displayed here. Table header and then the table. So I think all that is self-explanatory. So let's uh, now if I save this and, and try displaying it, nothing will show up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the CSS and so that you can I'll put borders around all the divs so we can see where all the, the divs are at. Okay, so opened up the CSS file. So let's get started here. Um, for the body, for right now, I'm not going to do anything for the body because I'll do all those little CSS things later. Uh, let's start with the container. Okay, so what do I want for the container? Uh, I'm going to set a width of 650 pixels. So this you're just going to have to play around with until it, it fits the area you want it. Um, since I'm not putting this in to actually any web page, uh, the size really doesn't matter for me. I'm going to put a border, which I'll list a little bit later, um, things that are actually going to stay fixed. The margin, uh, the padding, and the background color I'm going to put is white. And I'm doing that now because I'm going to have a background for the entire page, so I want the container background to be white. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, let's do the loan source. And for the loan source, I'm going to have this floated left. I want it to have a width of 250 pixels. I want a height of 220. And I want a margin, bottom, 10. Now the reason I'm having this margin is I want to have some space between the loan source and the table. Um, so the margin bottom is going to push that table down a little bit. So that's it for the loan source. Oh, uh, all right, so let's put the border in here now. Oh, I didn't put a border for the container. So border, let's do one pixel solid black. This one will do hmm, I guess just one pixel solid blue. This really doesn't matter. So we'll erase the borders later. Then we have loan info, which is pretty much going to be exactly the same thing, only I want to float this right. I'm going to have the width. I think I want the width to be a little bit bigger. So we'll say 300 pixels. The height to be 230 pixels. I want the margin bottom. Wow, there we go. Margin bottom to be 10. And let's do a border. I don't know, orange. Okay, then we have the amortization uh, table header. So, table header. All right, so with this, I'm going to have it clear. 
because it's going to be put underneath two floated objects. So I'm going to clear that. I'm going to have a width of 600 pixels and I'm going to have a height of 50 pixels. Um, all right, and I'll just throw a border around there. Border, one pixel, solid. I guess I'll just do this one black. And lastly, then we just have the table. So table. Okay, this one I'm going to set an overflow to auto. The width to be 600, same as the table header. And the height I'm going to have is 200 pixels. And the last thing I want to do is hmm, some stuff for the table. Uh, I want to align the table center. I want the font family to be sans serif, I think. Yeah, and then I'm going to have the font size to be 13 pixels. Okay, so that should be it. So let me save it, and we'll go and check out the uh, what we have so far. Okay. All right, so that's what we have so far. Let me just refresh it one more time. Okay, so we got our loan in installment calculator. We have, oh, did I not put a, hold on, did not put anything around the table. So let's go back. Let's put a border around the table. Uh, let's do gray. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so now there's where our table is going to be. So I think that's a good start, and the next video will start the form.